When I worked at a hospital, we created a new position and recruited somebody to fill a certain need. The person we hired came with strong credentials. His resume reflected solid experience and expertise, and he was filling a critical gap within the organization. But within a few months, it became clear he had a big ego, was condescending, and had to be right about everything. It got to the point where no one wanted to work with him, so we soon had to let this person go. His lack of behavior skills rendered his clinical skills almost irrelevant. Think back on your career and the co-workers you have known who were fired from their job. How many of them were terminated due to lack of knowledge, competence, or skill? Probably not very many. But how many of them were fired because of their behavior? Most likely all of them. In the marketplace, high performance consists of two elements, job skills and behavior skills. And after researching and teaching human performance for almost 20 years, I am convinced there are seven essential life skills that help people succeed professionally and thrive personally. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of these seven essential life skills. I believe if you put these life skills into practice, whether personally or professionally, they will make your life better and make you better at life. Hi, I'm Del Gilbert, and this is another Accelerating Excellence Insight. As we take a look at the seven essential life skills, for example purposes, and to make the concept more concrete, we will look at them in the context of a financial planner. However, we could use almost any occupation. The first of the seven essential life skills are what I call character skills. Character skills are doing the right thing for the right reason. In the context of a financial planner, character skills would mean having the client's best interest in mind. Character skills would mean offering products that would maximize the client's financial well-being rather than offering products in which you as the financial planner get the highest commission. A successful financial planner focuses on the long-term relationship with their client, not just on making a quick sale. The second of the seven essential life skills are communication skills. Communication is one of life's most important skills. And if you develop the ability to communicate in a clear, organized, and compelling way, you will have a tremendous advantage in life. A successful financial planner must be able to explain things in a way that the customer understands. They must be a simplifier and speak to the customer's level of knowledge, not talk over their head or go off on endless tangents. They must be organized and structured in their speech. They must be easy to understand and easy to follow. The third skill set are relational skills. Every business is a relationship business. And we as humans want to do business with people we know and like. Relational skills involve the ability to build rapport and put others at ease. A successful financial planner is able to make a strong personal connection with their clients. They put the relationship before the task. They show a sincere interest in the customer as a person, not just as a client. A fourth skill set is collaboration skills. While relational skills focuses on the one-to-one -one relationship, collaboration skills centers around being able to work well with others within a team. And a financial planner likely works with colleagues and third-party providers. Collaboration skills involve appreciating the different strengths and talents that everybody brings to the table. It involves giving others credit and giving others positive feedback. Someone who is in it just for themselves, who takes credit and blames others, will be off-putting to teammates. Soon others won't want to work with them or help them. The fifth life skill set are service skills. Your success in the marketplace will be in direct proportion to your ability to serve others well. 
And if you provide a high quality product or service and deliver it with a great attitude, you will delight your customers and thrive in the marketplace. When someone possesses service skills, they understand this fundamental principle. The customer pays the paycheck. So they treat every customer like a VIP, a very important person. Someone with great customer service skills understand that if they help the customer win, they win. Service skills also involves meeting deadlines, following through on commitments, and responding to emails in a timely manner. The six of the seven life skills are productivity skills. And by productivity skills, I don't mean doing more with less or doing as many things as possible. Productivity is really about personal effectiveness. It's the ability to work on first things first. Productivity skills involve distancing yourself from all the white noise and information overload and developing the ability to focus on the few important priorities. Someone with productivity skills is able to separate the trivial many from the vital few. A financial planner can fiddle with expense reports and paperwork all day long, but a successful financial planner will focus on the important work of attracting new clients and servicing existing clients well. Good financial planners have clarity around their highest priority and what tasks create the greatest return on investment. No pun intended. The seventh and final of the seven essential life skills are leadership skills. And you don't have to have a formal title to be a leader. Leadership is influence, not authority. Leadership skills involve persuasion and inspiration. In the case of a financial planner, in order to be successful, they need to paint a compelling picture of the client's financial future. A financial planner needs to use persuasion and influence to help the client see the long-term benefits of investing and the dangers of not investing. So, those are the seven essential life skills. Character skills, communication skills, relational skills, collaboration skills, service skills, productivity skills, and leadership skills. These skills are commonly referred to as soft skills, but I reject that label. These skills are anything but soft. They're foundational. They're primary skills. Remember the two parts of high performance, job skills and behavior skills. The seven essential life skills are the behavior skills necessary to turbocharge your career. Which of the seven essential life skills are you strongest? Which of the seven essential life skills do you need the most improvement? Imagine combining these seven essential life skills with your competence, skill, and expertise. Imagine mastering these seven essential life skills in your personal life. Competence, skill, and expertise alone won't cut it but match competent skill and expertise with these seven essential life skills and you will thrive both personally and professionally. I'm Del Gilbert and this is another Accelerating Excellence Insight.